Etfield Colliery in the Doncaster area is taking part in an exercise to increase the maximum web depth taken by a ranging drum shearer in order to improve productivity. The usual web taken is limited to 24 or 27 inches because of the normal design of the face equipment. But by rearranging this equipment, a 36 inch wide drum could be used. Surface feasibility trials were carried out before installation. The site for the wider web shearer was H25's face, which has a gradient of 1 in 5, inclined from tailgate to main gate. The new machine was to cut coal along the face line with a standard ranging shearer working at the tailgate face end. The shearer for working the tailgate face end is basically a standard machine. The standard arrangement means that the machine is mounted on the AFC with the ranging head offset four inches to clear the spill plate and the racker track assembly. The Mark II ranging shearer has the ranging jack beneath the machine. It was necessary to lower the machine relative to the AFC, reducing the space for the ranging jack. The ranging jack was recited on top of the machine but it gives the same operational characteristics. On the standard arrangement, the trunnion, or hinge, is offset towards the face by four inches. Horizontal racker track is indicated when an end haulage ranging shearer is used. The ranging jack has been removed from its normal position and recited on top of the machine, together with the hydraulic reservoir tank. This disposition was necessary in order to allow both shearers to use a common racker track. The tailgate end shearer was arranged in this way. Within the 6 foot 6 prop free front distance normally allowed, it is only possible to fit a 27 inch wide drum. With the racker track and spill plate tight up to the conveyor, the machine is offset to the face by 7 inches measured at the center line of the conveyor. Although a gap of 15 inches is available between the drum and the conveyor, there is insufficient room to install the ranging jack in the normal place because of the low height of the underframe. So the jack is mounted on top of the machine at the face side. In order to fit a wider drum on a ranging shearer, three factors in the basic design are important. One, a 24 and a half inch AFC, two, a seam height of approximately five feet, three, a central trunnion for the ranging gearhead. Since the chain is normally alongside the machine, a way had to be found to dispense with it. The horizontal racker track system eliminates the chain and so was chosen in order to allow the wide web shearer to be offset to the gof side over the top of the track. It was important that the haulage system allow the wide web ranging shearer to be offset to the gof side over the top of the normal spill plate. A cross-section drawing of the assembly and associated equipment shows how the wide web machine was designed. Although the 62 inch drum takes the full working section, with horizontal racker track, the ranging gearhead allows for horizon control. A normal shearer has the machine centre line either coincident with the centre line of the conveyor or offset towards the face side. This design has the centre line of the machine offset to the gof by three inches, which brings the drum nearer to the face side of the AFC, reducing the distance at this point from 10 inches to 7 inches. Offsetting the machine to the gof and bringing the spill plate and racker track assembly tight up to the conveyor saved the three or five inch spacer which would normally be used. So the machine had to be lifted up and overhung at the gof side. This meant that the haulage driving sprocket would be placed at an unsuitable horizon for engaging the driving chain onto the rack. So a special drop shaft takes the drive down from the haulage end of the machine to the horizon of the track.
The ranging jack is placed within the underframe over the top of the face side edge of the conveyor. The center trunnion assembly brings the center line of the ranging gearhead and the center line of the machine onto a common line. This makes sure that full advantage is taken of the machine being offset to the goaf. Consequently, the drum is brought as near as possible to the conveyor. The ranging gearhead, when over the conveyor and partially over the goaf side furnishings, provides horizon control by allowing the drum to cut four inches below the conveyor and up to a maximum height of 87 inches. The underframe gives up to 10 inch clearance for coal to pass beneath the machine. The horizontal racker track incorporates a guide to mate with the captivators on the goaf side support shoes of the underframe. The first pick is only seven inches from the conveyor, giving adequate clearance for a three and a half inch toe plate, which has vertical stiffening joints as part of the racker track assembly. The aim of any face design is to arrange the equipment to be within the six foot six prop free front distance normally allowed. This design meets the requirements with a nominal 36 inch wide drum, 24 and a half inch conveyor, and 10 and a half inch clearance to the front support. This has been achieved by dispensing with spacers, bringing the support closer to the conveyor, and by making use of this space to accommodate part of the machine. Because of the overhang of the ranging shearer towards the goaf, cable handling could be difficult. To make sure that the cable is fed into the cable handling system correctly, a loop control has been designed and built onto the front of the machine. It incorporates a fail-safe stop switch. Should the tension in the cable exceed a predetermined value, then the spring-loaded device will switch off the motor. The cable is automatically looped and trailed in either direction of travel by the cable handler guides. Offsetting the machine to the goaf to make maximum use of the space available whilst maintaining the spill plate and track close to the conveyor posed a considerable problem. Normally, the drive for the racker track is taken from the shearer haulage by a special Reynolds type chain and a system of sprockets to engage with the driving pegs of the track. With the machine offset, this was not possible. So, a dual driving system was designed using a vertical shaft to transfer the drive from the shearer haulage unit down to the level of the track, where a second driving chain and sprocket assembly engages with the driving pegs. It was necessary to make certain modifications to the powered supports. One, a pushing ram with a 36-inch stroke. Two, steep seam stabilizing rams and guide rails. Three, rear extension canopies and side flashing shields. Four, adjacent controls. By increasing the effective advance from each pass of the machine through the face, up to 40% more coal can be produced. It is expected that this first exercise with a wide web shearer will provide sufficient experience to benefit not only Doncaster area, but also other areas throughout the coal fields. This face design is an important step forward in the drive to improve output and to make better use of mechanized equipment.